On this episode of Tomahawk TV, we will be talking about the Chromebook 1 to 1 initiative and the effect it has on the Ford Osage community. Your Tomahawk TV starts now. Welcome to Tomahawk TV, Ford Osage's broadcasting in-depth news magazine. I'm Jolie Thomas. There's always fun in store at Big Frog Custom T-shirts and more in Independence. Visit the store, choose, create, and celebrate your customized design on a wide selection of apparel and gifts. Your order can be printed and ready within 24 hours. Let Big Frog outfit you today. We'll start this episode with a segment over the Ford Osage's Technology Center. Chromebooks are smarter balanced and PARCC consortia verified. Debbie Smith explains why they decided to start the one-to-one -one initiative with younger students. Uh, there were several factors that were considered when the group looked at whether to start at middle school versus high school. Um, one of those things uh, was that the middle school actually had a computer class that all kids were required to take in seventh grade, so that was a good way to expose them to both the Chrome browser and the Chromebooks. And uh, so we started at the middle school. And, and another thing, they had uh, really embraced the Google Apps for Education in that building, and that was led by their administrator at the time. So um, that's why we chose the middle school to uh, start our one-to-one -one initiative. There are 5,748 types of Chromebooks. Gerald Seed explains why he thinks they are encouraging students more in their academics. I think that depends on the student. I think that you know students having access to the Chromebooks is a good thing. I think that um, you know every student learns differently, and I think that a lot of uh, students are interested in technology. I think that's something new and exciting for kids, and I think there are students who will definitely take advantage of, of that opportunity and that access. Chromebooks range from two hundred to three hundred dollars. Jeff Two explains why they decided to invest money in Chromebooks and how it will help students' education. At least for fifty. I think it's a cheap enough product that we can put more Chromebooks in more kids' hands and give people access to more information, which ultimately, hopefully, they get a better education in the long run. Patricia Smith explains how she's been trained with Chromebooks and how she has passed down her knowledge to her students. I learned how to repair the devices over the summer with a man in the technology department and I received training through Dell's online website and I became a certified Dell technician in order to repair the new devices. The um, students learn from me as I teach them what I learned from the other sources. In 2013, 31% of K-12 schools have started using or plan to start using Chromebooks in their classrooms. Sophomore Darren Miller thinks that they are influencing students' academics and are easy to use. I just think it would be easier and more accessible from more places and it would make it easier just to do their work online. The Chromebooks have had a big impact on education in the Fort District. Who knows what's ahead in the future? Reporting for Tomahawk TV, I'm Jolie Thomas. Enjoy a dance club experience at Lunar Bowl with disco lighting, current and classic music videos playing on our 10-foot big screens, and your BFFs. Explore one of our weekend cosmic bowling sessions and get your bowling groove on. I'm here with Tatiana Mato. Tatiana, you interviewed the administrators about their opinion to the one-to-one -one initiative on the Chromebooks. Yes, and they overall feel it is beneficial for Fort Osage students because it'll help them improve their ACT scores, keep up with their grades, and use online resources. In 2013, 31% of K-12 schools plan to start using or had started using Chromebooks in the classroom over paper and pencil. Head Principal Mr. Moore feels the use of Chromebooks has allowed for a deeper understanding of concepts. I think the Chromebooks and the use of the one-on-one -on -one initiative in our building has allowed for a deeper understanding of concepts and allowed our teachers to utilize some tools that are a little bit more applicable to ACT type questions. So when our kids go and take the ACT, they'll be a little bit more prepared for that. Since Chromebooks were built for students, they have features such as drop resistance and spill-proof keyboards. 
Miss Graham Co. thinks Chromebooks are suitable for the students, but knows at times students will get distracted. Well, so far, I would say we're pretty early in the game, so there haven't been a ton of disciplinary issues with the Chromebooks. I would say it's more of at times, um, if we don't have procedures in place, it can be a bit distracting because it's easy for students to get off task while the Chromebooks open. Uh, so I'll be interested to see in the future if we have more discipline issues. Over 20 million students are using Google Apps, a lot of which are from the use of Chromebooks. Mr. Thompson agrees and expresses why Chromebooks are overall a positive choice for the district. Well, I think the positives far outweigh the negatives. I think it's, you know, as far as resources that the kids are able to attain on these are a lot, you know, better. They, they have a tool in which they can uh, research stuff. Um, the availability, and I also think, you know, they're they have access to the teachers' classrooms, Google Classrooms, to where they get to the information. I think I think there's just a wealth of information out there, and and if the teachers and students are both utilizing, it, I think it's you know definitely a positive. As um, far as the negative, you know, it's probably been more management stuff than anything at this point. In a recent study, it has shown that 72 of the top 100 universities use Google Apps. Mr. Zuber explains how the Fort community is adapting to the issue of Chromebooks. The students really like it. There's been no disciplinary actions at all so far. Uh, the teachers seem to really like it a lot, and overall I think it's been a very positive thing for our building. Unlike many conventional laptops, Chromebooks can be ready to use under 15 minutes and are easy and quick to set up. Head counselor Ms. Demo thinks the issue of Chromebooks can help students with their ACT scores. Well, I think it provides the students the opportunity to be able to um, access the ACT website, of course, on their own, in their own time. And on that website, they're able to take pretest, find study tips, and so forth. And not only on the ACT website, but there are other sites where you can get study tips and, and uh, practice for the ACT. All five administrators believe the issue of Chromebooks has had the biggest positive impact on Fort Osage. Reporting for Tomahawk TV, I'm Tatiana Mata. The Blue Springs 8 Theater at 1901 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs offers you a friendly atmosphere to view the top box office movies. Enjoy refreshments from their full service snack bar and then relax in one of their 8 theaters featuring comfortable roomy seating. Catch these recent releases this week at the Blue Springs 8. Along with the administrators, the teachers were interviewed by Katie Shoneman. Katie, how have the teachers been adapting to the use of Chromebooks in the classroom? The teachers that I talked to, they said that they love the Chromebooks and they use them a lot in their classes for the students' like homework and um, sometimes tests even. So. At the beginning of the school year, nearly every student in the high school received a Chromebook. Ms. Eyshai thinks that having the Chromebooks in class has both a positive and negative aspect to it. The positive thing is how easy they are to use and how the kids pick up the apps so fast. And there's a lot of great apps out there. Um, the one negative thing is sometimes you know Google's down or the internet's down and you planned your lesson around that and you have to improvise. Many of the teachers in the building have the students use their Chromebooks for assignments in class. Mr. Barrett uses them for assignments like online homework. What are we doing? I've, I've used them in a couple different ways. Uh, one of the things since, you know, in our math department we have, um, we, we buy classroom sets of books. Because of that, we have online book access now. So we're, since we don't check books out to students, uh, we have a clever app on the Chromebook, it's bookmark for them where they can get in and get, get on the online book edition. And uh, r really, it's, I think it's pretty good because they have extra problems they can work on. It has video tutorials. Now that the students in the school have Chromebooks, they are spending more time on them. Ms. Sampson feels there is a flip side with the Chromebooks. When it comes to being either helpful or distracting, I feel like um, Chromebooks are kind of both. Um, again, you know, just because of how easily and quickly students have access to whatever it is that we need them to have access to, um, that makes them helpful. But in the sense of, 
you know, students tend to be distracted themselves by it because they know that they can try to um, get to certain websites that maybe aren't really pertaining to what's going on in class at the time. And so really it's more so um, my part where I need to be more on top of, you know, okay, today we're gonna have lids down or let's go ahead and open them up or open up a new tab or I only wanna see one tab open. And, um, you know, just me, myself, monitoring what's actually taking place. Um, Society is headed to where technology is everything, even in schools. Ms. Youngmeyer thinks the transition from paper and pencil to Chromebooks is beneficial for the learning environment. I think we're starting to use a lot more things online anyway, and then to make sure that everybody would have access would be an issue, um, especially with the way the Chromebooks are set up. Since you can download anything to your drive while you're at school and still have access to it, even if you don't have Wi-Fi, that's really cool, I think, because I know I've always had, you know, I've asked people to do things over the years, you know, to get this off the internet or whatever at home. There's always one or two people that just don't have it. Having Chromebooks at all times is new for the upperclassmen, and at first, many of the students did not want the Chromebooks. Despite that, Ms. Hopkins thinks the students at Port Sage have adapted to the Chromebooks and they have learned to like them. I think that at first they weren't thrilled to have to learn how to use like these certain websites or these educational devices that we are using, but I think they do enjoy using the Chromebooks. They don't necessarily like having to hand write anything anymore just because it kind of creates clutter with the paper and honestly it kills trees. So we do recycle the paper, but it's like if you can avoid it and we can do it on the Chromebooks, I think the kids really enjoy using technology. There are both pros and cons to having all the students work on Chromebooks, but the high school teachers were very excited for the students to receive them. Reporting for Tomahawk TV, I'm Katie Shoneman. Toscano's is the best place to get a delicious Italian pizza. Choose your dough, sauce, and toppings to be wood-fired and served to you fresh. Let John and Kirk give you a taste of Little Italy at Toscano's, located at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner. Kayla, you interviewed students about how they're adapting to the use of Chromebooks in their learning environment. Yeah. Some of the students that I talked to like how convenient the Chromebooks are and how if they finish their work in one class, they can pull out their Chromebook and finish it in another one. This year started the full rundown of the one-to-one -one initiative in grades 7 through 12. Janessa Juarez feels that the Chromebooks were cumbersome at first but enjoys the convenience of them. Honestly, I was a little skeptical about the Chromebooks before we got them. Um, I didn't really want to carry them around in my book bag and things like that, but honestly, I feel like they've been a really like beneficial to us in our classrooms and things like that. I feel like whenever I need to, I can just get on it and look it up because my phone, the Wi-Fi doesn't always work on my phone and things like that because things can be blocked. and. They've been really, like a really good homework help to us. Students use the Chromebooks for different things in their classes, such as research, essays, and projects. Mariah Hernandez feels that her Chromebook is useful for history projects. Um, ELA, we use it for like journals and like to search up things, including social studies. We search up a lot to get like yeah. sites, like essays and all that. There are also some cons to the Chromebooks, like the unstable internet connection. Benjamin Seifert also believes there are disadvantages that come with this new technology. Well, sometimes if there's problems with the internet working or the nodes or this Google Classroom, it seems, or Google Docs, and it seems like we can't do anything anymore. The Chromebooks are convenient for working on unfinished assignments. Ethan Carson feels that the Chromebooks are very convenient to use. Yeah, like if we have homework that's like like in classroom or whatever, I'll get it done and then turn it in. And then the Chromebooks are good for other stuff too. <laughs> for those students who don't have internet access at home, the Chromebooks have the ability to work offline, like Google Docs and Gmail. Mariah Hernandez feels that students without internet are annoyed with the Chromebooks. Um, pretty annoyed because they can't really search up anything without internet on the computer, so. 
Students have different opinions on the Chromebooks. However, overall, they like the different uses and how convenient they are. Reporting for Tomahawk TV, I'm Kayla Gross. Culver's welcomes you to deliciousness. Choose from a variety of options they have to offer, from strawberry shakes and root beer floats, to grilled sandwiches and crispy chicken to be prepared by their friendly staff. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with their fresh frozen custards and butter burgers. Come into Culver's or pick up some carry out and let them serve you. As Craig Culver has said, every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. I'm here with Amate Butte. She interviewed parents that have students with Chromebooks. Amate, how did that go? Um, I found that a lot of parents think that it's beneficial for their children's future to have those Chromebooks. Um, some of them think that it's hard to get their children's attention and find internet access, but overall they find it pretty beneficial. Due to the increase of the use of technology in the job market, it's essential that students start learning how to use it at a young age. Certain parents believe that the investment of the Chromebook benefited their child. I believe the Chromebook has been a beneficial addition to the school system. They have become much more tech savvy and they enjoy um, crapping pictures and they know a lot more about how to navigate on Google and so that's kind of neat to watch. Um, technology is definitely very important as these kids get out of school and go to college and get jobs, even basic McDonald's jobs you have to use some sort of computer and software, so the earlier they learn it, the better. Uh, I think there's pros and cons to it. Yeah, it's good, so kids can never say, hey, I left my books at school. Overall, it's a good investment. Any investment towards students' education is good. I think that it's easier to keep track of their grades. I can see the assignments that they still need to turn in. Um, I can see tests that could be retaken. Um, because of a low score. It's easier to track um, what's going on. Because assignments are given more on the Chromebooks, parents find it difficult to keep their child attentive and monitor what they are doing online. I see that they like to spend a lot of time on their, on Facebook or Snapchatting. They do enjoy that and being able to chat with their friends online. Um, homework, I don't necessarily see that. Um, I really didn't notice an increase in her motivation. Um, she's getting the work done the same, but I have a harder time being kept in the loop because it is all in a Chromebook and I don't get papers sent home in a backpack or anything anymore. I don't know, they might be more motivated while they're in school, but definitely not at home. Um, initially, it was very overwhelming for them. Um, and it was very hard to get their attention because the technology drew them in. But now I see it's just kind of a part of their life. There is a point to be made about the limited offline capabilities. While there are a few applications that can be used without Wi-Fi, most of its resources require connectivity. One in seven United States citizens don't have internet capabilities. Because of this, students without internet access struggle with doing homework on the Chromebook. It's definitely a challenge. Um, we have to either, they have to stay after school or they have to go to a friend's house to do their homework. I believe that uh, there's other alternatives besides Chromebooks, uh, being that they're limited in certain technology aspects. I don't know a lot about the market and what's out there. I just know that these are not a very high-end machine. Um, we'll see if they last till their senior year. I think it was a wise investment, maybe for most kids, um, but they should have considered those who don't have access to Wi-Fi. Living in the country, it's probably not the easiest. If you lived in the city, it might be, you might have easier access to technology or Wi-Fi as far as McDonald's, fast food restaurants, uh, having Wi-Fi available. The expense has got to be kind of hard on some of the families. I would hope that they utilize friends in the library as well as um, other resources around them. I think it would have been better if they would have had uh, an option for people that didn't have Wi-Fi. While the Chromebook has its disadvantages, overall parents believe that it is beneficial to their child's future. Reporting for Tomahawk TV, I'm Amate Butte. 
That's all we have for you on Tomahawk TV. Thanks for watching and have a great day.